Welcome back, everybody, for some more Tommy Slav, as in it's the grand finale. It's been a really fun campaign, and uh, yeah, we beat the Battle of the Bosnian Highlands last time. We seem to have uh, reached our zenith with Tommy Slav. Uh, let's see what the grand finale it is a three sword campaign, so I, I imagine this is going to be difficult. Only three years after elevating Croatia to a kingdom. Well, that's unfortunate. Following his death for a time of endless misfortune. With Simeon gone, the Byzantines no longer needed Croatia, and they seized back most of Dalmatia. Without their support, trade in Croatia suffered, and famine ravaged its villages. Worse still, the surviving Jupons began to rebel against the young Croatian crown, spiraling the kingdom into a long and bloody civil war. As a diplomat and commander, Tomislav could unite even the bitterest opportunists, but his weak successors allowed all of his gains to slip away. The Bosnians eventually declared their independence and soon fell out of the Croatian sphere of influence. Northern villages, meanwhile, deteriorated as a result of constant raids by the Avars. Further to the east, Simeon's former commander Chaslav finally ascended to the Serbian throne, rebuilding the princedom and attracting back the refugees that Tomislav had welcomed. Croatia now faced enemies from every corner, and it was only a matter of time before its people surrendered for good. Oh boy. By the time your father and I ascended to the throne, it was a now or never situation. Your father was to recapture the Bosnian cities lost by years of incompetence, aided by Pridina, the first ban of Croatia. He had helped Thankfully, he wasn't banned from the kingdom. <laughs> As the new queen of Croatia, I would construct oh, hey, it's the, the person. Cities. They would serve as centers of faith, education, and nurture. Following the impact of my newly built chapels and what remained of Croatian Dalmatia, I knew even Chaslav could not overpower the same influence in Bosnia. Like Tomislav, I recognized the importance of hospitality, and I was determined to continue where he left off, but only then would Croatia stand the test of time. Oh boy. Oh, but the music is so happy. Um, all right. Oh, what? Oh, what a sweet couple. Oh. Helena. Alright, let's see what we got ahead of us. Uh, Helena must survive. Build a monastery in Uskopje's town center site. Build a monastery in Luka's and Pleva's. Uh... I guess Mikhail, Kresimir II, and Helena can support a population of 200 and advance to Imperial Age. While conquering the Bosnian cities through sheer military force is possible, going too far has negative consequences. Destroy only as much as you need in order to safely build a monastery. Although you can attack the bases of the Venetians, Serbs, and Byzantines, doing so will prove difficult for the Croats, Croats as they are now. Focus instead on recapturing the comparatively weaker Bosnian cities, and Croatia's enemies will be less of a threat. Once you build a monastery in one of the Bosnian cities, bringing Helena to it will curry additional gold from the locals. Although Mikhail, Krizmir, and Krabina are strong fighters, it is not necessary to keep them alive. <laughs> Helena, on the other hand, brings a touch of enlightenment to Croatia and is irreplaceable. <laughs> uh, I see who's, the, uh, who's important and uh, who's not. Following a turbulent civil war, King Mikhail, Krizmir II, and Queen Helena... Uh, have seized the Croatian throne from an incompetent king Miroslav and are determined to bring Croatia back to its former glory. Wait, isn't Miroslav the guy from the, the, the third one? Oh, I mean, he seemed pretty incompetent. Anyway, alongside Ban Pribina, uh, Mikhail commands a small military camp in the north side of the map, uh, while Helena is situated uh, to the south on the Adriatic coast. Due to internal strife and lost alliances, Croatia is initially weak starting in feudal age. Uh-oh. Uh, because of... Helena's spiritual influence, it's already possible to build monasteries and produce monks with the ability to convert buildings. Oh, I guess we have redemption then. Uh, Uskopje is located in the northern part of the map and is the weakest of the Bosnian cities. They train a bunch of units. Because their base is exposed and poorly defended, you should try and preserve their military buildings before building a church. Or else the Avars will see it as an easy target for their raids. 
Luca is situated in the center of the map and is much stronger and wealthier than their northern neighbors in Train Boyar. Yeah, all that stuff. Before you build a monastery or their camp, you'll need to destroy their own monasteries to curb the influence of their religious leaders. If you spare their two castles, they may be willing to reward you. Pleva is located just to the north of the Byzantines and is the toughest of the Bosnian cities. Because they're on rocky terms with the Byzantines, they may be convinced to fight back if you manage to forge an alliance with them. And they also train units. Decades removed from their former alliance with Croatia, the Serbs have been reunited under Tomislav's former enemy, Chaslav. As a result of his leadership, Serbia now dominates territories previously held by Bulgaria and Croatia. Their fortress is situated on the far east side of the map, where they will train legions of a bunch of units to drive out the Croats. Unlike the other Slavic factions, uh, Chaslav Serbs are able to upgrade their cavaliers to paladins. OP? Uh, the Venetians are camped on the western section of the map. They will primarily attack with genbos and other units. Uh, the Byzantines are located on the so southern edge of the Adriatic coast and are easily your toughest adversary. While their attacks aren't as frequent as the Venetians and Serbs, they are extremely powerful and numerous when they do strike, and their base is extremely fortified. They train a diverse army of uh, a bunch of stuff. Alright, so this is kind of like I expected. It's going to be quite the task set out for us. Uh, just kind of get my bearings. That's great, Prebna. Oh, there's Doc. I guess we are on the Adriatic coast. Don't know why the score turned itself off, but such is life. Um, I guess we'll just scout around a little bit. We already have a capped ram. So I feel like we should probably be a bit more proactive, because we have a lot of enemies. Do we have any friends? The rebels are neutral. <laughs> that's, that's something, I guess. Oh yeah, let's bring uh, Helena up to the north, because it seems like we're supposed to go north, south, south. Yeah. But I'm not too sure if we can access um, our camps. Got our Croat Axemen. Guess we can axe for their support. But as we do start with two town centers, we should be able to get our eco up and running quite quickly. And we even have a dock for some fish. Um, looks like we can actually access both of our bases. So let's bring everybody to the north. And we need to be building monasteries. Kind of an interesting objective. Seems like there is a lot of water, though. So let's do our level best to not lose it. But we are in Feudal Age, which is less than great. Anyway, let's see what we can get, uh, get up to. Oh, here's Mikhail Kresimir. Got good stats. Oh, and here's Pribina, who also has good stats. Start mining some gold. But yeah, I definitely kind of want to strike first if possible. And it, yeah, it seems like we're supposed to go after Uskopie. Bring a couple of villagers for the monastery. And I uh, think we can click up to Castle Age quite soon as well. Oh, these guys are already post-imp. Being in Feudal Age up against post-imp is a somewhat daunting affair. Oh, I get it. We have to destroy their town centers. And then replace the town centers with, uh, with our monastery. Okay, Helen, let's not get let's not go overboard. You can click up. Our tooltips have turned themselves off as they are wont to do. Uh but yeah, I think we're supposed to 
torch as little of the cities as possible. Oh, did we already lose? Oh, no. Mikhail Presmier's right here. Let's get that monastery up. And, uh, looks like around here is gonna be a good spot to, like, focus our, uh, base building. Oh yeah, let's not destroy their buildings. Oh, well, we lost our ram anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Whew. Duly noted. Mihal. Already have a couple stables. Obviously going to be focusing on some knights. Wait, where did I build the other one? And the one in my base to the south. Oh, here it is. The Venetians come to us. We shall fight them back. Uh, I, I guess we shall, but where are they? I guess we're running over that way. Sure, gather some more gold. Oh, they have a navy. Of course they do. Okay. Okie dokie. Didn't they also say they'd make genbos? Oh my god! Okay, that's a lot of stuff that kills cavalry, so we're gonna need to deal with that. I think a castle in our near future could be quite wise. Well, I guess that's just a bunch of units running into my town center fire. The genbos are pretty scary, though. Yeah, those fishing ships are mega dead. It's also very exciting to be a corgi, in case you had never noticed. Uh, I have a market down here. All right, that could have gone worse, I guess. It also could have gone a lot better. <laughs> uh, do we have to protect the monasteries? Or can we just kind of let them die? Seems like we can just let them die. So I guess yellow helps us out now. I don't know how useful they're going to be. They're only in feudal age. Oh, I have nobody on gold. Lull. At least we have a guard tower. Can we make more guard towers? No, no, we only get launch towers. I mean, we can get guard towers. Well, we prefer, prefer you to be ruled by our kind because we're selfish. Anyway, we're gonna need lots and lots of TCs. Um, there's a good spot to build one. Oh, what's over this way? I mean, we're already on four, but we're only on 52 vills and we have 200 pop limit. And we're up against a bunch of Imperial Age enemies. Well, I guess only Pleva and the Byzantines are right now. Hopefully we'll be able to get a castle soon as well. Garadite. Ah, yes, they can navigate all around. Can't really afford much right now. Uh, 
No, no, no. Bosnia isn't yours to rule. Allow me to handle things. Allow me to handle things. Anyway. Oh! What a jerk! What a jerk with a huge army! Um. Okay. Make some more units that way. Let's get a castle up. We may have to somewhat abandon our town in the south. I don't really want to do that because it gives us access to resources on the coast. Simeon's empire was on the verge of collapse well before Tommy's uh, Let's not let Helena get into danger. Really just need to make sure we keep that eco up and running. As long as Luca's old monastery remains standing, it will be difficult for me to influence the city. Maybe you should uh, not influence them. Maybe you should just, you know, just respect them. Let them do them, you know? Get that. Oh, no, no, no. Helena, you are now going to be spending a lovely vacation in a castle. Oh god. This is gonna be one heck of a scenario. Oh boy. Okay. At least our heroes are pretty good. They don't benefit from blacksmith upgrades, which is a little unfortunate. Alright, that's doing work. That could be worse, I suppose. Um, stone is over here. Still have a lot of wood in the bank. I guess we should probably use it to take back water. Okay, we're gonna build a second castle in our uh, like home starting area, and we're gonna use it to get some docks back up because I don't want Venetian ships running uh, running my city into the what? What? Wait, what? Convert? Really? You, my dear, are blind to relish in Croatia's supposed accomplishments. Really? You have to convert all this stuff? Okay, now we can get another castle up over here on the coast. Okay, now we can look up to Imp. I mean, Rico is not amazing, but it's not awful either. A few more on stone. Oh yeah, and we also... Okay, no, we're... Uh, that's why they're neutral to us, so we don't accidentally destroy the, the rebel buildings. That makes sense to me. Uh, do we have a university? No, we don't. I guess get stone trapped mining, because we're going to be in for the long haul. We didn't even convert that one? The hell, man? Stoo! Oh, are they gonna, like, tr they're gonna try and snipe my monks. Jerks. 
Over this way. Ooh, more gold. It's over that way. The blast furnace. Oh yeah, crop rotation gonna be super good. Wait, I have 43 on gold? A lot of gold. Rise for decades under my thumb. Your fragile kingdom imploded. Oh, my. As soon as the fresh yeah. Scottish yeah. love disappeared. Okay, he may be right on that one. Yeah. Okay, Chaslov, or I guess the Serbs are still in Castle Age. Something. Okay, we have like a ton of resources. Let's get Elite Zupan as well. And Paladin, because we're crazy like that. Uh, did we... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, nothing else really over that way. So other than a bunch of cavalry units... What should we be making? Oh yeah, we also need to get our, our navy back up and running. Forgot about that. Guess we can get bonds. Did I, uh... Wait, what else? Oh, they have that. Okay, there's more gold over here that we need to take. So I guess we'll get started next on... Uh, Luca. Luca. Is he going to monk rush us? Let's get some Condora, man. We can always just use those to defend our coastlines. Oh, more gold that way. Lots of gold, actually. So I'm not too sure if this scenario is going to just end once we build three monasteries, because that seems not easy, but at least straightforward, I guess. Wait, well, what? What road? Oh. I guess we're not supposed to go that way? Why, what is, what's even over there? Okay, now the Serbs are an imp. That's not so great. We have 28 idols. That's even less great. Okay, let's get um, a castle up over here. You're literally going to castle drop them, I guess. Okay, maybe not. Did I lose my monk, man? Spend more time putting down this frickin' rebellion. Okay, 
Don't even have a siege workshop. Don't have any more gold miner ring and ring and to do. That's not great. It must be said. But at least I can garrison the TC and be more or less okay. Send our conjurer over that way. Get those guys, I suppose. I don't even know if we can take those out, but... Oh, finally. Okay, gives all the buildings back over, too. That's nice. Okay, now if I recall correctly, we are not supposed to destroy the castles or any of the military buildings and our... Oh, boy. Instead, focusing on those monasteries and building ours. Destroying theirs, building ours. You know. They do have a fairly large army. You are trapped. Where's the rest of my army? Okay, those Condra did not do the trick. Oh! <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me! Okay, there's a monastery. Oh, there's the other one. Or, I, it, there could be three. They either had two castles or two monasteries. Or both. That's a pretty diverse army to deal with. I don't know about that. Well, it's a big old army. Okay, I guess you guys can do something useful. Oh, there's some stone over that way. Okay, those docks got absolutely wrecked. That's a large Byzantine army. Do we want to mix up our army composition? Um... Honestly, the mobility of our cavalry seems incredibly important. Okay, those guys are bugging out like crazy. Like, the infantry would be good against the uh, all the pikemen and whatever, but... Oh no, don't be destroying their town center and whatnot. Actually, we do need to destroy their town center, but not that one. I will literally forget about him very shortly, I'm sure. Okay, keep charging in. Need some villageros. Like, if anything, I would, like, add in cav archers, but that seems like an absolutely awful idea with this, uh... Okay, there's Burgundians? Slavs. They look like Burgundians. Okay. Oh, yeah, my villagers are going to need to make their way through. Yeah, we're just going to put you guys in no attack stance right now and hope that 
Okay. Oh, gotta get that one. Monastery. Wait, what? Oh. One of Buscopia's bad acts is destroyed. The town is now oh. a target for a VAR raid. Well, is that such a bad thing? I mean, they're not very helpful allies. One of Buscopia's bad acts is destroyed. The town is now an easier target for a VAR raid. Again, is that really such a bad thing? Come on. No, no, no. No! God damn it! Finish the monastery! Okay, that, that's a rather large army. Okay, didn't know we needed to maintain that. That is now a fact I know. Not a fact I'm happy about, but it's one I know, I guess. Okay, where the hell are those villagers, man? No! Don't destroy the castle! Where the hell are- Oh my god, they're so slow. Oh, what? It's Chaslav! Get over here, you noob! Okay, let's let's go deal with that. Didn't I have more than two castles at some point? Yelena. Anyway, it looks like we're about to take Luca. Luca! Da. That's what I have to say to you. Queen Yelena, as long as we keep Luca's two castles standing, they will allow us to train warriors at a reduced cost. Oh, that's pretty neat. Elite Boyar? I mean, yeah. I mean, the Boyars are, for our purposes here, since they're discounted, better uh, Zupons. Oh, I guess they're not as fast. Anyway, I can get some more income over this way. Guess we'll need to do something over there, though. Also, we need more villagers. Doesn't this have hoardings? I guess not. Oh yeah, Bonds is pretty good, man. Oh yeah, I guess we can get supplies and swords and upgrades in case we need to make some champions. All right, then. Yeah. Oh. I did lose a lot of farmers, man. Ah, that also happened, evidently. Stop, stop. But let's just focus on our base over here, because it seems a little bit safer. Gradite. Gradite. All right. Huge army for us. Easily can take down these of ours. They don't even have imp upgrades. Okay, and the last one is Pleva. Stop. 
I mean, we're already pretty long, or we are a pretty long ways into this scenario. So I wonder if there is anything after building those monasteries. Oh yeah, the Avars are going to going to attack us constantly, aren't they? So let's get a force of Halbs over this way and then build a castle. And then we can kind of scout out and see what's going on. That's a lot of blue on my mini-map, I see. Go get him, castle. Okay. Leave the halbs here. Let's go over towards gray. No, 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 not the happy little villagers. Bravo. Not the happy freaking villagers! Bravo. Okay, final stretch here. We are out of gold. We don't have a market. Emergency! A band of rebels is attempting to destroy the monastery whoa, whoa, whoa. of Pavia. Oh, um, where's my army? Oh, no. Okay, at least we have that castle up now, and that should honestly keep us pretty safe for pretty long. You've got to be kidding me. That's, that text does not match up that. <laughs> yeah, that does not match. Oh, boy. And things are just kind of need to let these guys sit here and take arrow fire. Didn't I order the construction of a uh, market? Need more bills. Really need that market has awful prices. You know what? Just destroy the frickin' town, man. I'm so sick of them. Okay, we're gonna build a TC over here, just so that we have a, a spot where we can... Build more villagers to build a monastery? You know what I mean? We have quelled the rebellion. For now, at least. Yeah, by destroying. Skopje is stable to be destroyed. Now the Avars will try to pillage the weakened village. Oh, I forgot about these guys having a big old army, too. Okay, is there any gold left on the map? I grass doubt it. Now we do have a huge army. It unfortunately comprises few to no siege weapons. But we can work with this. I think. I think. No! Sure, convert my trade workshop. Such an invaluable building. Open the gate! I'm a friend! I promise, man. Oh, 
That is a very rapidly dropping population. A very rapidly dropping population. Hit Hussar. missing something that would make my life easier, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Where's my army? They're streaming on over here. Let's actually use siege weapons this time. Radical idea. How are you doing? Wait. Why does why do some of my castles have hoardings and some don't? What? Huh? I, I thought the Civ had hoardings. Kin informs that Chaspa was captured and killed by the Maya. His portrait is no longer burdened. Well, I'll take it. Emergency! A band of rebels is attempting to destroy the monastery at Uka. No! No! Oh, I forgot about the Venetians. Build the stable, please. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is rather tricky. So let's keep up villager production. Hey, we broke that gate. I don't think it said anything about Preva, so we're just going to level absolutely everything. I guess we should focus on the TC at the very least. Quickly enough, evidently. Uh, finish that off, please. I hope we don't have to defeat everybody else. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I can live with that. And uh, I meant I can live with that on an emotional level, not on a, uh, a literal level. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, we don't have any stone left. That would make, make our lives easier. Get some boyars, I guess, just to deal with the Tarkins. But that's honestly doing just fine. 
Uh, let's send some Hussars that way, just to see if there's any gold we can take, because that... Or stone, I guess. Either way, that'd be dope. Oh, hey, it's the, the Dormition Cathedral. Rebels are plotting to burn down the monastery at Uka. Yeah, yeah, ain't happening, my man. You have just a few of my units to get through. Okay, don't really need the rams here, but at least we'll have some sort of solid garrison force. Don't need lumberjacks as much as I want gold miners. The right Bosnians there. have started a rebellion in Uskopje. We must pacify them before they destroy the monastery. How? They don't have any buildings. <laughs> How do I pacify them? <laughs> Just have a couple docks which uh, belong to Uskopje. Okay, just get in the castle. Get in the frickin' castle, man. Anyway, it seems like they're, uh, the Byzantines aren't really attacking Pleva. Or more like Pleba. Let's just send these guys up to Skopje. I'm worried that, like, you know, when there's, like, a minute left or so, they're just going to, like, completely swarm me with infinite unit spam or something. Now, here are the Byzantines. You, you do you, Pleva. Oh, and there's Venice. But yeah, this is definitely a... A very challenging, but also a really cool scenario. Like, you definitely need to have good uh, multitasking, which I do not have, but good enough. You need to have good enough multitasking. <laughs> But yeah, you really are attacked from all sides. And I'd say it does a good job of being like the big finale for Croats. Croats. But seems like honestly we are doing a okay, winding our way down to victory. Oh, there's even more stone over there. But yeah, we're fine. I assume if you lose any of the monasteries, you have to, like, reset the whole timer over again. But it just so happened that by the time we built the third monastery, we were already, like, max pop. Tons and tons of resources in production. I don't know if I went about it in the way that, like, you're quote-unquote supposed to. Yes, it does. Bonds, man, literally like doubles the damage of your castles. And there we go, guys. You are victorious. Our last Tomislav scenario. Let's see the last outro. Throughout the course of history, great empires would see their conquests immediately lost to succession crises and cultural divisions. Just 150 years ago, the empire of Charlemagne fractured into several warring factions as if nothing had come of it in the first place. I knew that the Kingdom of Croatia was doomed to follow the same fate, and so I urge your father to seize the moment. He is no longer with us, but together... Yeah, he is super dead. ...that you gaze upon today. Tomorrow, it all belongs to you. 
I will guide you as you learn how to be a king, but you must find true power and wisdom. She will manipulate him. It is our family's duty to ensure Tomislav is never forgotten, and his legacy lives on in you. Make him proud. Make it so, number one. All right, whew. 1,075 kills, 687 deaths. I, I really appreciate that Jacqueline did not uh, put the, the kid gloves on with these scenarios. At least for the most part. Do they really have a relic that's like surrounded by keeps that you will never destroy? Okay, this relic you can't actually take. Oh, maybe they were gathering other relics that I just happened to miss. I was on the... I was like keeping an eye out for relics, but I never actually found any. Okay, more gold and stuff over here. Yeah, I guess the Serbs just resign at some point to make it a little bit easier for you. But, like, overall, obviously still a very difficult campaign. <laughs> Alright, I guess you're not supposed to go this way, guys. Because uh, these t uh, these keeps have plus 200 attack and have 17 range. You know, you know, nothing too hard, right? But yeah, really, really great campaign, and I look forward to playing more of hers in the future. Huge shout out to Jacqueline, as well as everyone else who worked on this campaign. A lot of people did it, obviously all the voice lines and whatnot. So yeah, it was a lot of fun playing Tommy Slav. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.